Hey, 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 all my December daily friends. Welcome back for day. Oh, we're going to switch up some things, actually. We're going we're gonna, to we're gonna throw a little bit of a wrinkle in this because things got messed up. Oh, my goodness. My desk is starting to get clogged right back up. Let's see if we can do a little shooting right this quick second. Okay, so here we are. If you didn't see my videos from... Um, that I just posted from uh, day seven, day eight ish. We did a kind of, we put these two together. And then I did day nine over here. Uh, I should have thought this through just a smidgen more. It happens, things happen. Um, but it left this page blank, which normally I don't mind. I'll do like some stamping or like this side, like I just kind of, put it into this one but I just did that and I I don't need because this is a little bit more bulkier I don't want to add any more bulk so what I'm doing and because this and this story I don't I don't remember I don't know if this actually happened on the 10th or when it happened it happened right around this time um it doesn't matter to me what date this actually goes on so I know we're going to rip this apart a little bit. We are going to make this day 10. Hopefully I can find a number that will go well. And it's not that hard to rip that off because it was just paper. Um, uh, let's see. Get this staple out of here. So we're going to go and redo day 9 pretty much. I know. My... Uh, I, headlines on this will be quite funny. Make this day 10, and then we're going to come in and do day 9 over, pretty much. And where's my piece of paper? Ah, where's my vinyl? Oh, right here, right here. And hopefully I can get this to fit because I ended up accidentally closing some things, but I think it's going to work. Okay. Um... I also do need to do a little bit of some adhesive erasing. Um, I put this through my foil quill. And when my foil quill, I just do my foil quill right on top of my mat. So when it pushes down so many times and it heats up, it brings up some of that foil, that um, adhesive from the mat. Um, and normally it doesn't matter, but this one, it's sticking a little bit. It's a pretty big spot. So we're going to go around with just our adhesive eraser. If you don't have one of these, get one of them. They work magic. Just making sure nothing. And yeah, it's bringing it right off pretty much. And it works magic. So yeah, it's gonna be a nice simple spread because there's really nothing. Again, there's a lot of stories this year that I don't really have like stories for but it was like what was happening that day or just small moments that happened in our December that I really do want to capture um but like this picture really doesn't need journaling per se I mean I guess I could journal about it but um I'm not really looking to do that so anyways, I foil quilled this. There are a couple imperfections. I'm not going to worry about it. I was going to try and use a Sharpie gold marker, but that gold is definitely different gold than this. And I'm just going to embrace the imperfections. This was just a part of the foil that had already been used. And I was trying to use a scrap right here. Let's see. Let's show you guys. So I'd already used this on the gingerbread houses and I was just trying to use a scrap. Well, I miscalculated. This is a lot bigger than I thought it was, but we used a scrap and I'm happy for that. So now I'm just going to take all of this tape because tape is precious around here <laughs> and throw this foil away because yeah, I could probably get something out of that, but again, I'm probably going to run into issues where it will run into this and it's okay I've gotten a good piece of it so all right so oh oh yeah I'll have to use washi because 
I didn't leave enough to make, this is going to be a flip uh, because this is what our December looks like pretty much. Like there's basketball and it's just going to flip up. I mean, again, it's just a story of my kid waiting to get into his basketball game. Nothing much. Maybe, maybe I'll find a place to, to, um, to journal, but I really, I don't really know. Journaling right now is not what I was looking for. So anyways, so yeah, so we're going to make this day nine. I do need to figure out a place to add my nine. I don't really know how I'm going to do that yet, but let's get this cut down at least. And then we'll go from there. It's going to be a little bit tricky. All right, guys. So this project got away from me a little bit. I don't know how I missed this. I feel like this is a common thing in my in my crafting in the last couple weeks that I'm just missing mistakes. I am making mistakes. I don't know. Maybe I need to slow down a little bit. Maybe I just need to slow down a little bit. I don't know. Anyways, um, but you're going to see here. And, well, first I have to cut this down. Um, because I had accidentally closed out all my programs before I actually got to craft this and I didn't print out that picture, um, I couldn't crop it to where I needed it. And I felt like it would be safer if I just printed it the size that it was and then I could um, go through and uh, go through and then crop it from there, I guess I should say, and uh, cut it down from there. So I am leaving that little part. Oh, and plus I needed that little part on the edge for holes. So, and I didn't want the vellum flip up to get in the way of the holes. I thought I was being so smart, guys. I thought I was like really planning ahead for this one. <laughs> Except for, you're gonna see here in a minute, I plan for the holes on the wrong side of the paper the entire time. I don't know. <laughs> Uh, I will get my life together. This, I think, is the hardest part, I think, for me sometimes when I'm putting together December Daily. And especially, um, I don't know. I don't know how to word my words right this second. But is not prepping for the rings. Because obviously, like, before this, I prep for the rings. But, like, sometimes my mind always preps for the rings on that left side. Like, I don't know. My head just automatically preps for the rings on that right side or on that left side and it just takes over <laughs> anyways here I am looking for some pattern paper because I had then realized that my photo wasn't long enough I, I needed just like a itty bitty more space for the rings on that side I'm like okay let's get some pattern paper out we can make more room that's what I did. This is last year's, I believe last year's pattern paper. And then I needed um, some washi tape, which gen in general, I don't washi tape my flip outs, but because this is vellum, um, that was a necessity. I haven't realized that the rings, I only realize it when uh, I go to punch the holes from day eight into this, so. Um, <laughs> uh, you know, I, I, you know, I mentioned in the beginning of this channel that I put this channel out here to show everybody that scrapbooking really all of the time does not go your way. Right. Um, because a lot of creators, uh, back then they are more now showing you, you know, just a perfect spread coming together every time, you know, type thing. Well, you know, in this December daily of 2023, I have definitely held up to my end of the bargain. <laughs> so I pull out this wash, a buffalo uh, plaid washi, and I struggle with getting this down straight. I was really worried about it not being straight, so I struggled with getting it straight. I don't know why. You're going to see me struggle for a minute, but... I eventually get it. I eventually get it. I, probably because I don't do this all of the time. So I'm not comfortable with doing my flip outs like this. Also, sorry if you hear a noise in the background, but that is my walking pad as 
I have vowed myself in 2024 to walk more and get this weight off. So during voiceovers and, you know, times where I'm just scrolling, I need to be on my walking pad to get my 10,000 steps every single day. So, and then once summer comes and we can get out more, then hopefully that will even increase more since I should be able to go out for walks and get some fresh air. Right now, it's dreary and disgusting outside. And it hasn't even given us snow in Michigan yet. Like, come on. All right, there we go. There was, there was a, did you see my hand? Like, OMG, I've done this wrong. So now I'm like, okay, I, I took a step back from the camera, I shut it off, and I'm like, how do I fix this? Because <laughs> I was like, I don't even know how I'm gonna fix this. But I was like, okay, this is an easy fix. Once I got my bearings together, I was like, okay, easy fix. Just put some pattern paper, make an even bigger strip along that edge, cut your holes, and everything will be okay. It's not that big of a story th today where I was just like, where I'd done so much work that I couldn't bounce back from it. This was an easy bounce back. Thank goodness. You know, you're already doing so much in this project, right? Changing everything. So here we go. Easy bounce back. No problems. We still get the same, you know, layout that we wanted. I also have laundry going, so that's also right next to my office. So hopefully, <laughs> hopefully this voiceover isn't too crazy. And my mic went out last video, so I'm now using my webcam mic. I tell you, life, life, life is, it's not going to knock me down though. We're going to get these things posted. All right. And that is pretty much it. Like I said, uh, I could have added some journaling. Now that I've watched the video and I've, you know, thought about this more, I probably could have added some journaling on the photo itself, like right in where the wall is. But again, I don't feel like this needs that much journaling to say. And I still got to figure out the number. The number was the hardest part for me. I just, I didn't know where to put it, but in the end, I do use the number to cover up the little bit of gold foiling that um, didn't happen in the silhouette. So we are gonna go with this nine. I think I do change it out a few times here. I'm trying to find a good place for it. Do I, or do I put it down there? No, I do, I do cover it up. <laughs> I'm like, hold on, I can't remember. And yeah, and we wrap it up from there. Um, like I said, I do leave in here um, me fiddling with this because I, uh, this is probably the, some of the hardest times. I think everybody struggles sometimes with picking a number. <laughs> we have so many options and I don't even have that, ma uh, that many options. I have enough. I don't have that many. There we go. That's why I was like, oh yeah, this can definitely deter from the silhouettes mess ups right there. We're just going to do that. We are going to staple and we are done with this page and let's move on. Right. Let's move on. So now we have to find a 10 to renumber the Christmas list page. And though I don't have a one and a zero in that big stamp font um, number set, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I think those were from Studio Calico, right? Um, I do choose just a number, simple 10. Um, actually weighs down the paper a little bit more since I haven't figured out that enclosure yet. Um, and thank you all for your suggestions. It does sound like I'm just going to have to probably make it myself. I don't know why they don't sell those separately, but it does sound like I'm going to have to make it myself. Ooh, looks like my camera moved on me. Oh, I probably moved my camera getting the numbers out again. So sorry that's off, but thank you guys so much for being here again uh, and waiting for these videos to come out. As much as it hasn't been hectic, it is hectic <laughs> around here. And um, yeah, I'm just trying to get reset for 2024 and taking Christmas stuff down and all that good stuff um, and preparing for a cruise that we gifted our children for Christmas, uh, in March. So, um, yeah, the financial of that, we're trying to get all together. So a little bit crazy, but we got this. Um, I'm hoping to be back this week with at least day 11 and hopefully day 12 
and start knocking out the rest of this pretty quickly. All right, guys, uh, definitely hit that subscribe button if you are new. And in the comments below, uh, leave a nine if you would, if you got this far. I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.